Hello Junta viewers, this is Abendian, welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19. It wouldn't be a season with the Toronto Blue Jays without Dave Stewart being on the DL at some point. He says his injury proneness is normal. I think that's bullshit for a guy who missed all of 1987. But, we have to admit, whether we succeed or not rests entirely at this point on the right arm of Dave Stewart. <sighs> Now, the good news is we've got a load of money for extensions. The bad news is we've got a couple of big names coming up. And we're going to have some big decisions to make this offseason. But that'll be for the next episode. We need to put our roster together for this season. Jay Davidson, Miners. Uh, that's our rotation for now. There are many like it, but this one is ours. Uh, John Cerruti, Wave... Um, Bill Latham, Wave. Bill Swaggerty, Demote. How many pitches does this leave us with? 15. Wow, we still got to get a bunch of pitchers. Okay. Um... Finley will send down. Patton will send down. He might choose to opt out. What does that leave us with? We still need to get one more pitcher. It's probably Gonzalez. There we go. Our 12 pitchers. Let's go ahead and just set up the pitching staff for right now. Okay. So... Obviously, our ace for now is Pete Falcone. Our number two is going to be um, Morgan. No, Perez. Perez. Morgan. Then Anderson and Fruity. There's our rotation. It's not the kind to win a bunch of Cy Youngs, but it'll get the job done. Now, the game was actually having Eddie Bain not close. And at this point, he's been a consistently good closer for us. I'm going to go ahead and let him keep his job. He's put in, you know, double-digit saves every season. He's contributed mightily. I see absolutely no reason not to keep him as the closer. Which means John Mitchell is going to be the stopper. If it's a seventh or a close game, I want him in. Because he's a really good reliever. And I think we want him pitching as much as we can get him to pitch. Which leaves us with the traditional setup men. Which I think... Let's see. Evans, for sure. And I think maybe give... Let's give Mike Jackson a tough assignment to begin with. And then we'll make the rest of you middle relievers. Uh, we do need at least one long man. And all of the people with decent stamina are starters. Well, that's a problem. It'll get sorted once Dave Stewart comes back. Alright, pitching done. We gotta get rid of a lot of position players, actually. Alright. Alright. Randy Hunt is a much better defensive catcher than McCurcher. And McCurcher's a, a border it could McCurcher could be a really good hitter. And a future first baseman. So I'm gonna go ahead and give McCurcher a year in the minors. Uh, Joe Lansford can just go away. Noah Quendo. No Randy Lind. No Thutsis. So Trey McCoy is a bad center fielder. But we don't have anyone better. 
mean, Camposano's a much better center fielder, but he can't hit his way out of a paper bag. So I think we demote you and demote you. And I think we're going to make Trey McCoy our starting day our starting day center fielder. Let's make Strawberry the center fielder. The game is like make Dom Mattingly a center fielder. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst decision, but it wouldn't be the best either. Add you to the 40 man. Anyone else need to get added to the 40 man? No? Okay. Cool. Let's build a lineup. Lineups overview. Newcomb. Oh. Okay, so as always, we start with the batting ratings. And we start with the best contact hitters. And I think Von Hayes remains our best choice for our leadoff guy. We're going to bump Chili Davis up to number two in the lineup. Because here's my thinking. Davis at two. Matting Lee at three. Put the raw power of Daryl Strawberry in the cleanup hole. And we have Jim Rice, Jim Rice following up after Daryl Strawberry. That's a pretty scary lineup, I think you'll agree. Damn it, I screwed up. And Jim Rice. Rice can play left, right? Yeah, Rice is actually a better left fielder than a right fielder, so we're cool on him. Uh, Cal Ripken will be playing at third base. He'll be our number six hitter. New guy Trey McCoy is going to be our number seven hitter. You know what? I think we will try Mattingly in center field. 6, 7, 58, 44. What's matting lane? 60. No. We're going to put you, in f you at first. Or left. And we'll DH Jim Rice. Maybe that'll keep him healthy for longer. And we will put McCoy in center. Um, and then White at 8th. Frank White filling in at, at second, and then Dick Schofield as a shortstop. And depth chart me. Let's see how they work. I, I can live with this. I can very much live with this. Cool. I think I will make one change. Since Leo Gomez could still get better, I'm going to send him to the minors. This is going to sound weird. I'm going to call Camposano back up. Here's my thinking. I want there to be... Uh, I want there to be a good defensive backup to help carry um, McCoy in later innings of the game. That's why I'm making that decision. For no other reason, because Capasano is a terrible baseball player. And we got McGee coming off the bench. He should be able to provide some offense. I feel good about this opening day lineup. Not like amazing, but good. We've put together a fearsome lineup that if we had Dave Stewart, look out. Are going to adjust my budget? Probably not. Top 100 prospects. Randy Johnson, Ken Griffey Jr. I like that. Ken Griffey Jr. playing on the same team as Dad did. That warms the cockles of my heart. The A's got Jim Edmonds. How much talent does one franchise need? 
Uh, Robbie Alomar went to the Red Sox. Kenny Lofton to the Orioles. Ray Langford to the Pirates. Javier Lopez to the Cardinals. John Smoltz to the Giants. Interesting. Interesting. I have to be one of the worst minor league systems in the league. If we're not last. We're second to last. Woo! Thanks, Chuck Finley. Thanks. Damn. Mm. The A's are so good. I don't know how the A's haven't won, like, several world championships. Like, this team is scary good, and they've got so much talent. By taking all of this and then say, we need a new starter. How about that Randy Johnson kid? Or, nah, we don't like Gary Cooper in center field anymore. How about Jim Edmonds? I mean, shit, dudes. That's a, this is a scary team. Like, super scary. If, if their pitching staff was even mediocre, they'd be like, wow. I'm super jealous of the A's right now. Maybe we'll take them over if we fail miserably and get fired as Toronto. How do you have a dead arm? Ugh, I'm not even going to... There's literally no one else I'd call up except for Leo Gomez. So, yeah, you can just hang out with your dead arm. And then Dana Robinson can just play a bunch. Hey, look, everyone, again... Everyone that got claimed got returned to us. That is the least surprising thing ever. Honestly, at this point, if not for the fact Dick Schofield is virtually like a perfect shortstop, Robinson would be starting. Oh, wow, we are bad this year. Oof. It's only 13 games, but, you know... He's going to be out for another week. A trade proposal. Eddie Vargas. Uh, I mean, I kind of don't want to trade a reliever. But this is a decent deal for a reliever. I'm going to hold off. But I am some I am semi tempted by that deal like that. <laughs> Sudden Sam McDowell, twenty five hundred Ks, Minnesota Twins. Uh, Jim Rice is hurt. He'll be back. What does P Falcon want an extension? We'll talk. And now we'll stop talking. I'm not giving you a million and a half if I also have to pay Dave Stewart and Dom Mattingly. We'll talk at the end of the season, or I might even trade you. Because here's the thing, right? I love Pete Falcone. You love Pete Falcone. Everyone loves Pete Falcone. He's having another great season. He's also 34. It's a bad risk in baseball to pay a 34-year-old that much money. So we're going to hang on to this and revisit it later in the season. I might just take the draft pick with him, too. Although the problem that we're having, which is very smart on the AI's part, I don't fault the AI, they just wait until after the draft, and then they sign all the big free agents. So we're going to give it another month, just see how things turn out, and then we'll see what we where we're at. Oh, we lost Jim Rice for four weeks. Disabled list. I'm going to call up Scott Gomez. And you'll be like, wait a minute. Scott Gomez doesn't even play D uh, outfield. And I would say that's true, but we need a DH, not an outfielder. And so we're going to go ahead and move. Uh, ugh, Cal Ripken's off to a bad start. How's McCoy? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll go and like, give Gomez a shot as the DH. Let him get some reps until Jim Rice is back. Hmm. 
And we get Dave Stewart back. Excellent. Wasaki. So you. Dave Stewart. Large and in charge. Pitching staff. You are bumped. Dave Stewart is in. Dave Stewart is going to be pitching second from now on. He's not number one just because of Pete Falcone's having an amazing year. But we'll see what happens. And then you get to fill an important role, which is the long reliever emergency starter. We're going to have to make some other change. Um, I'm going to make this change right now. Let's just let Mike Jackson just throw some innings and see what he can handle. Because I think he wasn't getting used very much. And he's not going to get better if he doesn't get usage. And then let's complete the month of May before we make any further changes. We are bad this year. Players like rules, they didn't have rules, they wouldn't have anything else to break. Oh dear. Nice work by Falcone. Who's this green kid? Damn. Another shutout for Falcone? Damn, mate. Uh, Chuck Finley? Pretty good looking. Any big improvements? Alan Anderson got better. Oh, some improvements here. Mattingly is even better at contact, which is kind of scary. McCoy, his potential improved, but his contact just plummeted. That's not encouraging. Hmm. All right, so we're at exactly 500. That's not great, but it's not the worst either. And the fault lies with our lineup. We literally have two players that are having outstanding offensive seasons. Don Mattingly and Daryl Strawberry. Chili Davis is at a glacial pace. Uh, Von Hayes is back to his old tricks. We need 1987 Von Hayes, not 1986 Von Hayes. Dave Stewart has not adjusted well, but, I mean, we just have to give him some time. The bullpen is a bit of a, a problem. There's a lot we could be doing better. And some of these players are too good to hit the way they're hitting. I think Von Hayes, I think Chili Davis will get better. And once they get better, they'll start carrying the rest of the team with them. Uh, McCoy's providing power. He's drawing walks. He's just not hitting much for contact. Is he playing a bad center field? He's playing a not great center field. So. How do we upgrade this team? If it's worth upgrading. And it may not be. Cal Ripken is a huge disappointment. I mean, I traded Tony Phillips for him. And so far, he's not been that great. Now, being an Iron Man is great when you hit 293. When you hit 190, not so much. The thing is, we don't have a lot waiting in the wings. We've got some, but not a lot. Now, getting Jim Rice back will help. That takes Gomez out of the lineup. You're a disappointing first-round draft pick. I want you to know that. Um, ah, Dick Schofield. 
see how good you can be if you just hit league average. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to improve upon here. But I think part of it is we have to hope Dave Stewart finds this stuff. And I think we just have to hope that guys like Cal Ripken and Trey McCoy can just sort out what they're supposed to be doing, which is not playing this badly. So there's not much we can do. I don't see a, an easy way to upgrade this team other than either finding a new starting center fielder or a new starting second baseman. Um, doesn't sell anyone. Oh, here we go. Players on the trading block. Glenn Hubbard. No, not better than Frank White. Tim Tufel, not better. Dunham still plays for the Yankees. I don't want a player that plays for the Yankees. Uh, Jerry Willard is an interesting player, but not someone I really have a use for. Same thing with Tim Wallach. He wanted me to cut payroll. I did not pay attention to that. Whoopsie. Let's go ahead and play one more month with the team as it is, but maybe making a change or two. Uh, Bane's not striking people out. That's problematic. That's your job, mate. Sort this out. Like, right away. Um, everyone else in the bullpen is fine. Stewart hasn't had enough innings to really determine if he's actually meaningfully worse or not. Let's just proceed for now. Yeah, we are not a good team this year. Jim Rice will help that, though. If McCoy wasn't starting at center, I'd actually send him down, but I don't think that's an option available to me. So we're just going to send down Gomez. Jim Rice, lineups and depth charts, lineups overview. Let's see if plugging Jim Rice back in will kick things off a bit. All right, advancing to July. All right. I think this is the season. What, does Jim Rice want a new contract? I wouldn't necessarily mind bringing you back. Ooh, Stewart pitched a good game. Good. The Angels will give me somebody good for a bunch of crappy players. The problem is, is that none of the players, is that Hubbard's not that great. Andy's expensive. No. All right. We are 33 and 38. We have several players contracts coming up. But most important contract coming up is mine. And sure, everyone else is too. I guess that kind of matters. Um, how are you? You're doing okay as a bench coach. I can give you an extension on that. Sure. And I'm going to be a dick and stick you with this GM even if he sucks because I think you might fire me. So here's the question. Have I earned enough goodwill that we can tank? In other words, trade the players that I'm not going to keep and try to get some prospects for the future. What the heck is with this R thing? Is that... My monitor? No, that's just a really weird... Th that's weird. Uh, so if I don't know if you noticed that on last screen, there was a, this weird blue line over the R. Weird. Um, Because I am betting that trading Pete Falcone or Jim Rice would bring in quite the package. What am I getting offers for if I trade Pete Falcone? Oh, this is it. That's discouraging. And how much do you want again? You're wanting less and less. 
We'll talk at the end of the season. What about if I flip Jim Rice? What could I get for flipping him? Um, Eddie Murray, I could get him back. No thanks. I could get some pitching. I could get Pete Vukovic. There's just not a lot here to get excited about. Because what I really want is prospects. That's what this team needs. That's what we're missing out on. And the only way to get that... Let's play a little bit longer. Let's wait until the trading deadline and then maybe make some moves. I mean, we're not making the playoffs this year. I think that's extremely clear. I don't think anyone would dispute that we're not making the playoffs this year. I mean, the Yankees have about a 20-game lead on us. And things can happen, sure. But generally not by that much. How long are you out for again? Eh, about three days. How do we how do we effectively improve this team? What about trading Eddie Bain? You got to figure people want closers, right? No, no they don't. Well, fuck me then. Um oh, Pete Falcone wants to come back. And I genuinely don't see a good reason to keep him from coming back if he keeps producing years like this. Ah, shit. I, I... Ah. I don't have obvious pieces to move. That's what's troubling. Um... He likes Trey McCoy. Hmm... He's happy. I could maybe think about trading a couple of these players and just taking a 10. But there's really nobody. I'm not getting good offers. Okay, well, let's... let's maybe the problem is I'm not targeting specific players. <laughs> All right. So let's do a quick player search. Who are the better second basemen in the league? Because second base is a filter is a problem we've been having. Okay, so we want possession. Position. Why did I just say possession? Is second base. Ooh, templates. Oh, that's cool. All right, I want somebody who's fielding is at least 60. What do I got to work with here? Oh, come on. You're telling me literally nobody at second base has a fielding rating of at least 60. What if I just do second base? What the hell is happening? Oh, I don't want a short list. I want a player search. That's what's happening. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Let's add both of them. Okay. Tons upon tons of players. Let's sort by overall. I could trade for Tim Raines, but I don't want to trade with the Yankees. Yeah, Paul Molitor's actually not all that great in our version here. Now let's go for the home run. What would it take to get Roberto Alomar? Like, if I give you Cal Ripken Jr., just as a starting point, 
yeah, you're not. You'd be stupid to trade Roberto Alomar, and I appreciate that the AI is not that dumb. Jeff Blauser would be a good choice if it wasn't her. I could get Dave, Tony Phillips back. Um, uh, Duncan's not that great. Riles isn't that great. Oh, come on. Carlos Baeger should have more power than this. He's another guy I'm not going to be able to get a hold of. I have a feeling California is going to naturally rate him quite highly. Delino DeShields is a free agent? Wait, what? Oh, he must be in the coming draft. Yeah, he's coming up in the next draft. That makes sense. There's Jay Greb. Like, a Tim Range would really be a good fit on this team. What would I have to give you? One of my best players, it's not worth it. Alright, what if we started with Pete Falcone? Because Falcone is the one guy... Oh, actually, Jim Rice is the one guy matching your student trading. What if I gave you Rice and Falcone? No, this is a bad deal. Reigns is actually super cheap, but yeah, that's a bad deal. I'm just going to go ahead and sim forward. I don't think there's a player that's worth it. I'm just going to go ahead and advance and just see what happens this season. A trade proposal. Marty Barrett is kind of okay as a second baseman. Gerald Clark's not very good. I mean, if you gave me a better prospect, I would make this deal. You don't have good prospects, do you? Hmm. How about Roberto Alomar? Yeah, I don't blame you. That was, that was... That was just me trying. You can't blame a guy for trying. Like the Harold Baines would be a good addition offensively. Could stick him out in right, maybe package. How long do you have Baines locked up for? Okay. What if we make this like a mega deal? And Harold Baines. No. You're not going to give me Harold Baines. What about Glenn Davis? Uh, you don't like giving up Glenn Davis. If I did ask for Glenn Davis, what would I have to give you? Not much. I mean, Leo Gomez isn't going to play as long as I have Cal Ripken. I mean, that's just the way it is. Now can I get you to throw in a prospect or two? So this takes... I mean, we get Marty Barrett, who is better than our current second baseman, and he's pretty cheap, and I've got him for another year. Uh, Glenn Davis, who's super cheap, who admittedly just signed a new contract, but we do need an upgrade in center... Oh, 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 he's actually a bad center fielder. Nope, 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 nope. How about Gomez for Barrett? You'd actually take just Gomez for Barrett. Really? Can I get a prospect? Phil McKenzie? Yes. Uh, he was picked a couple of years ago. What about Christopher Lee? Okay. Thomas Howard. I'm just... 
taking players. Wow, this game really likes Leo Gomez. Um, is there like a back of the table like outfielder I could grab from you? What about Cornelio Garcia? I think he would be a fine addition to my team. You want a little bit more. What if I drop McKenzie? How much more do you want? I mean, a crappy pitcher? Sure. You still want war. Give me McKinney again. That'll help. Of all the pieces I thought that would help us bring in a better team, I did not expect Leo Gomez would be one of them. Because, I mean, Cornelio Garcia could actually start for us right now. He's got really good range, and I could always play him somewhere else. Um, What else you even got? I mean, Daniel Etzweiler, sure. I'm going to offer this, and if they take it, I'm just going to make the trade. No way. I don't need Etzweiler that badly. How are you saying we're not getting much in return? We're getting two starting players and some pretty decent relievers. What the hell else do you want? I'm just going to make this deal. I don't care what my GM says. What does Texas want? I uh, know they're giving me garbage for Pasquale Perez, so screw you. I like how the deal's supposed to be for Pasquale Perez. God damn it, Dave Stewart. Really? Really? Has Boston made their... They've accepted. Let's make the deal. Done. Alright. So Marty Barrett is going to... Um, we'll get rid of Sil Campuano. Because Cornelio is almost as good... Is just about as good in center and actually fits better in with the team. So, see you later, Sill. Promote both of you. I mean, unless Frank White's having a legitimately good season, which he's not. Yeah, this is a no-brainer. So, Barrett filling in at second. And then, for now, Gar Garcia's just going to kind of ride the pine and fill in where we need him. In the outfield. But I like him in the future. He's cheap. He's what I'm looking for in a, t in a player. And you saw Garcia backing up McCoy. There we go. I think this makes us a better team. And it doesn't really cost us much. Which is a great combination. A really great combination. Thank God for Dom Mattingly this year. Even he's worse than usual. What the shit, guys? If it's for Pasquale Perez and it's another bunch of horse shit... Allender is a pretty decent center fielder, but I'm not giving you two players for one, especially since I want Mike Jackson to stay on this team. Um, Let's look at the all-star roster. Falcone made it. Chili Davis made it. <laughs> Dom Mattingly made it. That's it. Well, 
Kind of, kind of bummed Daryl Strawberry didn't make it, but it's whatever. Oh boy. Yeah, you don't have an obvious role on this team. I'm going to go ahead and send you down to AAA. Oh, right. Because you were a Rule 5 draft pick, weren't you? I'll send you to minor leagues, I guess. A trade proposal. Dunham is a really good center fielder. Like, really amazingly good. But no. What do you want? You want a new deal? Well, too bad. Oh, you've decided you want all the players. Okay. Tim Raines comes back. Jose Gonzalez, kind of garbage. Norm Tanucci, kind of garbage. Ben Shelton, kind of garbage. Tom Hackman, I don't care. Daryl Strawberry. This is the player I have a problem with giving up. What if I drop Strawberry? What if I drop Strawberry and add Jim Rice? Nah, you really want, you really don't want that. What about if I added Falcone? And I could throw in Marty Barrett and make this deal happen. The problem is this would be a lot just for Tim Raines. This is the opposite of the kind of deal I should be making. This is the opposite of the deal I should be making. Tim Raines is a really good all-around baseball player, and that's great, but I'm not... So, I mean, I understand that I'm basically losing a reliever. Two people are going to be free agents anyway. And a first baseman who doesn't have much of a future, I don't think. And then I could add, like, Frank White. Because I know you said you wanted a second base, and maybe Frank White's the kind of guy you'd want. No, you want Barrett. Do you even have any good prospects? You have one. Can I get him? No, because you just drafted him. Well, fuck you. Uh, Brian Hickerson. All right. So let's take this deal, and then we're going to make you eat part of his contract. Would you eat all of his contract so I'd basically have him for free? No. You'd eat half his contract. If I make this deal, I have effectively conceded on this season. But I'm trading two players I probably wouldn't re-sign anyway in Rice and Falcone. A reliever who's meh. I'd like to keep Ben Shelton if I could. Because Shelton might actually be a decent hitter someday. So can I drop Shelton? Okay, you don't care about Sheldon. I might be letting my misguided love of Tim Raines, but this seems like a pretty good deal.
And it improves my payroll flexibility to help keep Dom Mattingly. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this deal. I think, even though this helps the Yankees, I'm already 17 games back. I'm making the trade. I think people are going to be pissed because that's right. They didn't like Tim Rice, did they? Fans are kind of bummed. I did forget about that particular aspect of this, to which I say, meh. All right. So now we need to make some other changes. What do I need? Do I need pitching? I do need pitching, and I also—I actually just need pitching. I need three pitchers. Uh, Patton, McEnany, Whaley. And that'll just be until Stewart comes back. How did I lose two star? Oh, because I never replaced Stewart. Right. Here's the best part. If I have enough extra cash, I could just buy the players I want. Um, I could be the Yankees. I could out-Yankee the Yankees. Oh my god, this is the best decision I've ever made. Um, you know what? Where's Chuck Finley? We're going to give Chuck Finley a starting rotation spot just because I need someone to fill in for a couple of weeks. And then you guys will both just fill in as middle relief. I want to give Michael Jackson more of a role. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade you to set up sixth or later. All right, we've significantly remade the team, but let's let's bring him home. Let's do the thing we should have done a long time ago. Tim, my man, welcome back to the Toronto Blue Jays. We've missed you terribly, and this is actually even better. Because now I can pull McCoy out of center. I could DH him. And I can have Garcia play at center. Which he's a lot better at than Troy is. Whatever the fuck his name is. Jackass. There you go. And then I just need to change around the actual lineup itself. All right. So Tim Raines will never be anything but a leadoff hitter in my eyes. Let's put him up at the top. We're gonna st and we're gonna have Von Hayes bat second. We're gonna have Chili Davis bat fifth. There we go. This is a better team now, I think, in the long run. I think I like this deal. I think this was smart. In the long term, it might it might hurt us in the short run. What's 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 your new trade proposal? You really want to get rid of Leon Durham, but no. Not when I only have him for one year. I have no desire to take on a rental player. Jeffrey Leonard is diff. Oh, God. Screw you. I can't believe the Yankees have the audacity to see me as a freaking salary dump candidate. I mean, really? Eddie Vargas is a bad player. Don Brown is... You're a bad team. I swear to God, if the name Leon Durham is... I'm not giving you Pasquale Perez. Not now. Yada, yada, yada. I think actually Dave Stewart's healthy again, isn't he? He will be in another four days. Okay, let's sit one more week just so I can put Dave Stewart back on the roster. He's back, hooray! How long, how is Chuck Finley do? I'm gonna keep him on the roster. I want to give him a couple of chances. 
Who else on this Ross pitching staff sucks? McEnany. McEnany. Eh, I'm just going to go ahead and release him. It's worth the 62 grand. I mean, he didn't really accomplish much, and this way Chuck Finley can get some experience in the bullpen. Uh, Dave Stewart. Then Morgan. Then Perez. Then Anderson. Then maybe Finley. I mean, let's let Finley actually get pitches the fifth starter, and then we'll just see what happens. Maybe we'll get some uh, some good stuff out of it. So it's actually kind of weird, because in real life, if I remember right, Chuck Finley took a long time to break into the majors. Like, a really long time. Real life. Oh, he started at age, let's see, his first full major league season was 25, which is how old he is this year. Well, he's almost 26. And he started in the bullpen. Chuck Finley had, like, this really weird career... Where he was never amazing, but he was never really bad. We're not really bottoming out, which is what I was kind of hoping for. I don't care if intercostal is strained. Unstrain it, bitch. Yeah... We might get fired, and that's the only downside of this strategy. I'm not going to fuck with a two-week injury. It's just not worth my time. I don't have players in the minors that really need the spots. I'd rather have other major leaguers on the roster just fill in a bit. We are 55 games out of first place, and we're still above 500. Alright, so how much money do I have now? I bet I probably lost some of my extension cash. I still have over $3 million. And I mean, this season is almost quite... Off-season is almost going to quite literally be... Let's back up a Brinks truck to Don Mattingly. Give him whatever he wants. And if he opts in... And doesn't opt out of his contract. That would be pretty sick. Up, we're going to finish under 500, but just barely. Which is not going to be enough to get us even a top 10 pick. It'll get us a better player than we've gotten in the past, but not a real good player. The Yankees won 107 games. How do the A's still keep sucking with all of this talent? It boggles my mind. I wish all of our, literally all of our minor league teams weren't called the Blue Jays. It makes this very confusing. Any youngsters get better? No? Probably not. Oh well. And we'll sim to the end of the regular season. We still finished over 500. We'll either finish exactly 500 or over 500. And we finished 500. Uh, St. Catherine's Blue Jay players are playing. Not Kenneth Clay. Not Lenny. Oh man, no batting. Wow, Keith Hernandez was damn good this year. Holy shit. Haha, ha, Yankees, you won 100 games and the Royals just beat the snot out of you. Watch, now that Pete Falcone's not playing for Toronto, he's going to win a Cy Young Award. Actually, he did win a couple for me, didn't he? No Toronto player is in the top three of anything this year. A lot went wrong this year. A lot went wrong. And I think we're going to do some soul searching next offseason. That is if I don't get fired, which I might. Because they expect that I'd make the playoffs this year. And I'm not remotely close to that. I 
I genuinely think there's a good chance I might get fired. I want the A's job if that's what happens. Because there is no reason on earth this roster should still be losing so many games. You gave me a contract extension. I believe at this point there is literally nothing I can do to get fired. And now your goal is to get, for me to get rid of Tim Raines again. Oh dear. Yep, Dom Mattingly did the smart thing. I can't even say I'm surprised. I'm going to go ahead and buy out Frank White's option. Goodbye, Frankie. Dom Mattingly would have been an idiot not to do it. Oh, you, you've, wow, okay. Ooh, fan loyalty and market size have both increased. Nice. All right, guys. Um, so that's going to be it for this episode. We did get re-signed. Uh, how long? Three more years. So they're willing to put up with a mini rebuild. And the question is how we achieve that. I think we may actually trade Tim Raines again and see if we can maybe get some tasty prospects out of that. That would be lovely. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below, especially on the Reigns trade. I'm curious to see what people think about that one. Um, I don't think it cost, cost us much. And even if we immediately trade Tim Raines again, we might get something useful out of it. Which would be super awesome. But, um... Let's see what happens. Um, until next time, though, this has been Indian. Thank you for watching. And I bid you good day.